Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're going to be covering one of the ways that you can edit forms on ServiceNow using form layout. Now, all you got to do to edit a form on ServiceNow, you just have to come over to the selected form. Right now we're on the user table on a user record. And all you got to do is right click in the subheader, come over to configure, and then you have your three options here, form builder, form design, and form layout. Now we're going to be doing form layout in this video, but I will be doing two other videos on form design and form builder. Now form layout is great. It's probably the quickest way to make changes to your form, but it is the most restrictive and it's also the hardest to tell um, what you're doing to the form from this view. So let's go ahead and just kind of decide what we want to do here to the form. Now this field here is a custom field I added. It's called the primary assignment group. And let's say we want to remove it. We just want to remove it from this form. I will need it for another video, so we'll we'll add it back in uh, maybe one of our other form editing videos. But for now, let's say we just want to remove the primary assignment group field from this form. So let's come over to the, um, the subheader, right click, come to configure, and then we'll go over to form layout. Okay, and this is, I'll just kind of describe what's going on here. So starting on the top left, we have our user ID, first name, last name, blah, 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 until we get to split. So as soon as you get to split, it does exactly what it sounds like. It moves all of the um, these fields underneath the split to the other side so that they're parallel. So email would be parallel with user ID, language with first name, uh, et cetera. So you probably want to make sure that these are even. You have the same number of fields on the left side that you do on the right side. Otherwise, it looks kind of goofy. Uh, but what we wanted to do was we wanted to remove the primary assignment group. So these are all of our fields that are currently on the form. Uh, as you can tell, these are all the available fields that you can add to the form. Now, the ones that you see with the green, it means that you can dot walk. So if you were to click on one of these, let's say department. So we can actually select fields from within the department to put on the user table. So let's do, just move this down. Okay, so then these are all the different fields on the department table that we would be able to add to the user table if we wanted to. Okay, let's go back to our user fields and let's remove primary assignment group. Boom, it's gone. All right, now to cover this section at the bottom, uh, form view and section. Now this is the view that we're on. So the default view is the one that users will be defaulted to, just like it sounds. But if you want to maybe make changes to the mobile view, you'll have to select that. Um, but keep in mind, once you do do that, it will not save your changes unless you would save in case you were making changes to your existing view. Um, so let's go back to defaults. And then also you will have, you may have different sections. So like on the incident, incident table, you may have like three or four different sections that you'll need to make changes to. So in case you don't see it in the top section, um, you maybe want to refer to the form and see what section you're trying to make those changes to, because there could be more than one. And if you want to add additional sections, you can do so here just by hitting new and you can add in that new section and then you can add in fields within that section. Also change the order of that section. Now over here, here's a shortcut to be able to add new fields to your form. So all you got to do is name the field. That's how it's going to appear for the user. Um, the type, so you can do string. Maybe you want to reference another table. You can do that. So that is the shortcut way to, um, add in those additional fields. And then as soon as you're done, you just hit add. Once you hit add, it's gonna throw it on the form at the very bottom. Then you just have to change the order where you want it to be. Uh, if you wanna change the order of your existing um, fields on your form, all you gotta do is select one and use the up or down arrows. It's very intuitive, but again, this is the most limiting and it's also at a glance, it's kind of the hardest to tell what your form is gonna look like. All right, so we got the primary assignment group removed. That's all we wanted to wanted to do. So let's hit save. And it is gone. It was that quick and easy, guys. And in the other two videos, like I said, we will be covering form design and form builder, which are a bit more robust and give you a better idea of how your form is going to look when you're done making changes on there. If you guys found this video helpful, and uh, if you want to look for more ServiceNow videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. And please also give this video a like if you can. I will catch you all in the next video very soon.